After days of rumors, Qatar confirms it will be hosting talks between Iran and the U.S. And the top media rights organization calls on Egypt to release Al Jazeera journalists as relations warm. Great news for climate change as Qatar Energy pledges to reduce nearly all methane emissions. In sports, Qatar's Football Association responds to British media. Stick around to find out why. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar says it welcomes the hosting of indirect talks between Tehran and Washington due to take place in the capital this week. Doha says it hopes that talks will bear positive results that can contribute to the revival of the historic nuclear accord. This comes as U.S. and Iranian envoys land in Qatar to kickstart the negotiations, which have been at stalemate for months. Following the Emir's visit to Cairo last week, Reporters Without Borders has pointed out that four journalists with Qatar-based Al Jazeera are still being held by Egyptian authorities and should be freed. The four journalists have been detained on charges of membership of a banned group and spreading false information. However, as relations warmed in the aftermath of the Al Ula declaration, the Qatar-based network broadcast from Cairo once again. Despite this, the journalists remain behind bars. Now, Qatar Energy is making headlines once again. The state-owned corporation says it has signed up to the Aiming for Zero Methane Emissions Initiative in an effort to diminish almost all methane footprint produced during operations by the year 2030. While climate initiatives are typically about minimizing greenhouse gas footprint, focus is rapidly shifting towards methane emissions due to its nature of trapping more heat than carbon dioxide. This could prove to be a positive move, especially with Qatar's energy sector being named as one of the biggest contributors of carbon dioxide emissions in 2019. Finally, British media reported that Watford Football Club has cancelled a match with Qatar's national team over alleged human rights concerns. The report says fans of the English club had applied pressure on the team to cancel the match as a form of protest against Al Nabi. However, in a statement posted on Twitter, the Qatar Football Association said a match with Watford was never on the table. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co.